Carberry Housing Association was established in 2001 by local residents in West Cork who found themselves priced out of the housing market. Um, to date, we've purchased 21 houses under the mortgages to rent scheme with um, more in the process and we're also exploring the potential for new social housing developments in the local area. We also repair and retrofit the houses because many of these tenants are actually in energy poverty. That is, the low level of efficiency of their homes means that they can't afford to keep themselves uh, warm. The solution that we propose is a solar solution in collaboration with the Red Wolf European project which involves the installation of solar panels, storage heaters, smart meters, batteries and an artificial intelligence connection which allows the system to be managed by the association. The four Red Wolf pilot homes are powered by a combination of solar PV and low carbon intensity electricity taken from the grid only at times of low demand. This energy is stored in the battery, in the storage heaters and in the hot water tank so that it can be used when it's needed in the house. Um, and the whole system is controlled by an algorithm via um, a smart controller with very minimal input from the tenant. Here's the output for a recent sunny day. As you might imagine, this yellow curve represents the electricity from the solar panels. On this optimal sunny day, you get plenty of units exported to the grid and few taken from the grid. The tenants get around 20 cents per unit exported and pay around 40 cents for units from the grid. Exports are indicated by this green curve below the line. You'll notice that there's a lag between the sunshine starting and the electricity going to the grid. That's the hybrid energy storage system charging. The first thing that happens is that the solar panels start charging the battery, then they start charging the water heater, after that export to the grid commences. Because of the difference in import-export price, this is a good time to run the dishwasher or other moderate draw appliances. In wintertime, the system includes storage heaters, which work in a fairly conventional manner. Employing these varied approaches, the Red Wolf system allows our tenants to reduce carbon production and lower their bills. The biggest benefit of it so far is not paying for gas, yeah. not topping up, topping up, topping up. Yeah. And our electricity bills so far have been very good. It's a cleaner system, you know. Mm -hmm. There's the, the solar panels on the roof there that are generating electricity. We have batteries up in the up in the attic. Basically around two o'clock if it's a if it's a nice warm day and you about two or three o'clock, whatever, everything is everything is charged up, topped up. That's the time then to start using your washing machine, use your dishwasher, whatever you have, Dryer. any plugs I guess, any utilities, yeah. whatever. Use them that time of the day because you're using the power that's coming off of the panels. So we're not using the power from the grid, we're actually using our own power. But once you find the right setting that you that you like, well then that's it then in the story. You know what I mean? And you hopefully the whole winter goes by and you shut it off during the summer, yeah. you know? So far we have the Red Wolf system installed in four of our homes and that's a great start. But really what we want to see is this system uh, being installed around the country by housing associations and local authorities. And we believe it's got massive potential to support in, our, in achieving our green energy transition targets around Europe and around the world. <laughs>